Charlie. Hey, how are you? Good, sweetheart. How are you? Good, just leaving the office. Okay. Um, Busy just, day today. Yeah. I didn't stop for like, I mean, the only time I stopped was when I was on the phone. And, mm. Where's the office where you at? Rob Stanton. Oh, okay. So it's good. I've become friends with him too, so it's nice. Yeah, I know with him good. and his wife, and we go out all the time. That's nice. Dad had, had a question. He said if he goes, because he's going to go Thursday right. um, to register the car. So, you know, he'll go with the existing paperwork. If, if they say anything to him, like 40, whatever it is, 43, 48, what number? How much did you want the car to say it was worth? It was 43. $4,300 um, for a 12 Land Rover. It's a 2004. The VIN number is a 2004. It's, the state of Florida screwed up at the, when they did the title, but the VIN number is correct. On the title and the VIN number on the car reflects an 04. Okay, exactly. So that's why she even asked me, are you sure this is a 12? Yeah, it's not a 12. Matching. Right. So even though it says that on the paperwork, should Dad say to them it's it's an 04, or should he say nothing and see what they do? Say nothing. Okay. It's the only number. The VIN number yeah, is the only so thing forward. that matters. The, right. other thing, the other thing I was going to tell you is this. Why doesn't Dad just go on Monday on the way after the office and do it, stop in for 15 minutes and go do it for 20 minutes? It's, no, it's it's hard to do that because it, it's not 15, 20 minutes. It, it is 15, 20 minutes, but he doesn't leave here Monday. He works out from uh, 8 okay. to 9, showers, and then just gets up there just before 10. I'm sure there's there. a place in Miami you can go, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, that's Broward. right. Oh, yeah, he's not going to Broward. Okay, yeah, I, you're I, yeah, I found a place down here. He can go here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one on the beach. Oh, I don't... I found one the last... Oh, it's sitting in the driveway. Oh, Just, perfect. Let's, okay. let's cut my driver's license. I've got a car without a tag that doesn't match the thing. I've got no registration. Well, other than that... I'm like, other than that, fucking write me the fine. I'll have my kidney out of it. <laughs> Great. So sad it has some, somebody else needs to license. <laughs> Tell that I'm missing my driver's license. The, I don't have a registration, and I have a tag that doesn't me. belong to the car. Just like that, I'm perfect. Oh, Dad said, yeah, you'll have to get your license plate, right? Yeah, unless he wants yeah. to like, draw one on a piece of paper for me. Yeah, he, how, that's why he's asking you if it yeah. has one. But it has one, it just doesn't belong to well, the car. Exactly. It's not he a transfer. Off a different he needs car. a new one. Yeah. He needs a new one. It's not a transfer. Okay. You can't what just he take license do. plates off of cars. It's kind of no? cool. No? <laughs> okay, so we'll make sure he doesn't do that. Okay, take care of that. Yes, no problem. So, uh, distribution with like 150 stores in New York and oh, uh, good. in New York and New Jersey. So you said this, that this, today? They announced it today. I knew about it. Oh, they announced it. Oh, wonderful, yeah. honey. It's always interesting when you know the news before it happens. Yeah. It's like so. So what did it go up to? I uh, like it's point zero three two. Okay, so it's moving. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing is, and the volume is good. It's over. The whole thing with this is having the volume because, yeah, you have the shares, right? Right. But if, the, if it's not being traded, like if it's a thinly, I'm sure you've heard the expression, it's a thinly traded stock. No. Mm-hmm. Thinly traded just means there's not many shares being put out there. Yeah. So you may want to sell your shares, but there's nobody looking to buy them. It's not like oh. Disney World, where there's yeah. 15 million shares a day traded or 20 million shares, whatever, right. of Disney. So if you want to sell your shares at Disney and Donna has 10 shares at Disney, it'll sell. Yeah. Well, if you have 20 million shares, but it's only trading 20,000 a day, do the math. Yeah. You know, there's you're, you will never get to I mean, right. thank you. Hundred years to get out. Yeah, you know, and then sometimes stocks die; they go down to like ten shares a day, and nothing. There's no problem. Right. Right. So the point is, is that there's so much going to come out that's going to. Uh, um, the, the whole point is, if we can get it up to, even if it hits ten cents, it's going to be insane. Yeah. So, and this guy that is a CEO now is like. Like, he's a real CEO. I mean, he really did it as a favor to Adam because it's his aunt's boyfriend of, like, 15 years. Yeah, but he was, he was a CEO of one of the divisions at Citibank. 
Like, you, you know, they know how to market products, take things to market, sign deals. You know, I mean, that's what a CEO does is, right. you know, I mean, you have the right CEO. They take companies to the next level. You've got the wrong CEO and they trash it. But to get a CEO like this on a no-name penny stock is like unheard of. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. who you, it's basically like, who do you know to, uh, right. To get one. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like that's John Cochran. That's, that's why he did it because it's a family, you know, because it's yeah, well, a family. Yeah, I mean, he's got money, stock options, and all those stuff. Sure, but it's not. I mean, but it's not you know, outside the realm of like this. Yeah, it would be like exciting. getting into a fender bender and walking into Gary Hill. Right. And the car to be like, all right, who'd you know? Gary doesn't yeah. do shit like that. Right. He doesn't like do that. getting paid or whatever, but it's not like. Oh no, I understand. So, but anyway, so it's it's exciting. I, uh, we'll see what happens. But it, it yeah. should be a really, really interesting year. It should be. It should be. I hope uh, it's a wonderful year. That's great. So I'm I'm excited too. So anyway, Good. all right, my love. Um, so we are going to finish up this pile of paperwork in front of us, so we could get done for the evening. We had a, a ton, and then we had, you know, the kids all afternoon. So and Ben, Ben was really fine. He told Wendy he didn't feel well this morning, and he's never said that. Wendy, this kid who usually doesn't eat anything, I said he ate all day long. He's just fine. Forty-five minutes. Oh, good. So I'll be able to find out the. Uh... The full scoop. Yeah, I wonder why. Unless they have other plans to go out for her birthday, but I can't imagine him missing her birthday. It just listen, doesn't sound kosher to me. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'll listen. I'll find out everything. Yeah. I mean, Bree. Bree lives with Dave and Andrew. I know. Like, talk some sense into the girl, and let's just see what happens. But yeah. I'll find out. Um, I'll find out everything. The only thing is, is that. There, there also reaches a point where I have, I actually have to worry about, you know, focus on my own life. Yes, you do. Crazy thoughts sometimes, but yeah, I've, been, I've not done... A bad, not a bad thought. I know, I know. I've mm-hmm. done above and beyond. Yes, yes, you have. I, I will continue to help out any way possible, but, yeah. you know, like in life, I think sometimes... I mean, not that you shouldn't guide people and not that you shouldn't offer your advice or whatever, Mm -hmm. but it's a fine line because Mm -hmm. it comes a point where you create the opposite of what you want to have happen. Yeah, well, that's what even with three you have to be careful now. Because then, yeah, but I'm saying, but what happens sometimes is you can create the opposite response Mm-hmm. than what you want to have happen simply because you doesn't want to feel like they were forced into it because right. this is what they wanted, so I guess I should go do this. And, like, next thing you know, you're getting the – I'm doing the opposite more right. for the reason of I'm not letting – that nobody likes to feel controlled. Some people really don't like it. Right. So what you can, you got to be careful because right. you can oh, end know up, you, you know, you, you want the horse to think, hey, I'm thirsty. I'm going to go get some water on my on my own. Right. You you don't want to end up with a situation where you're dragging the horse by the ears over to the water trough and it's an independent horse and the horse is like, you know, you can't make me do this. And they're just resisting because they feel like, they're being told what to do and forced what to do. And even if it's the right thing to do, nobody likes to be told what to do and forced to do something. If they start right. feeling like they're forced, they're going to start like rebelling and being like, you know what? Like, find your own damn business. Don't tell me what to do. Even if you're telling them the 110% thing to do, right. it's like, you know what? I'm an adult. Mind your own business. Let me worry about me. Stop. Right. Yeah. You know, and instead, instead of it being like, you know, you just kind of like a little bit of guiding and then you just back off and let them mm-hmm. do their own damn thing. Let them go fuck right. up their life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, then what she said opened up the door for me to say whatever I wanted to. Right. But had she not opened up that box and I just dove right in, she would be like, 
where you quit telling me what to do in my life. She's the one who right. brought it to me. Then, then I can't. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. it's it's a very delicate thing. But I could definitely find out, you know, what's going on. And then I, I, I since Wendy's already talked to me about this stuff, I mean, I could talk to her more about it. I mean, things things are obviously fine because things are good and you know. they're progressing. And I don't yeah. think there's any reason to like. No, no, but, no I would talk the boat. But I'll get I'll, I'll get the. I'll get the gist of it. I know Dave's so crazy about her, so yeah. So that's all good. That's you know, I'll good. just make sure. More importantly, I'll just make sure Bree's giving Dave the right advice. Yeah, exactly. You know, so keep her on track. Yeah, maybe oh. what we'll do. You know, what we'll do maybe because Bree brought this idea up a while ago. Maybe I'll take like a cruise with the the four of us, and we'll go away for like a weekend or something. Like one of those, like leave on Friday, come back Monday morning. Yeah. Yeah. And do something like that, which would be perfect. That's right. So, and I can, even and Memorial I Day is coming up. That's a, a long weekend. Yeah. Well, no, they have cruises that you leave oh, that's good. Friday. It's, it's actually fantastic. You leave Friday. Good. Else good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm excited for you. It's a lot of things. So it's interesting. So yeah, no, it's it's an exciting time. You know, it really. You know, I, the thing is, is, is that I'm so diversified with everything else. It's not like I like sunk everything into this, and it's like yeah, if this doesn't work out, I'm screwed. Like I'll get my money out for sure. Yeah. Uh, but it's not, and you know, it's not like you know, I just this is my one shot at like you know, really hitting it big. Oh, like, everything, okay. everything else is still good. I'm still diversified yeah. in a million different, in a bunch of different things. Not a million, but a bunch of different things. So it's not. Perfect. Everything is good. Okay. Well, then have a good evening, honey. I love you. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks for calling, right. honey. I love no you. No problem. Love you. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Dr. Adelson's office. This is Erica. What can you help you? Hey, Erica. How are you? I'm good. Good. Um, I called in a script yesterday for Katie, and then I heard they called the office to validate it. No, they sent the they fax. Sent the fax. Okay. Did, did you validate it for her? I was waiting to see what Dr. Adelson was going to say. So just yeah. send it back. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, send it back. Well, check with me. Don't. My dad told me about it. I'm like, yeah, I called it in. Yeah. So, he said, hold off before I do anything. So that's why I didn't send it back. Uh, go ahead and validate it and send it back. I mean, anytime that they come for her, I can, though, right? Like, yeah, of course. 100% without a question. Just okay. check with me, though. It's not called in under my dad's name, so what the fuck is wrong? All right, let me send it through now. All right, thanks a lot. All right, bye. 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 Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Okay, I can hear you. Let me talk. Um, okay. I called and I left my cell phone. I said, if you have any problems, this is my office number. And I left my cell. When they probably looked at my DEA number, they the DEA number is actually linked to the hard line at the office, the seven two one number. Okay. So what they probably did was thought, oh, this is a phony script or something like that. So then they called up the office. So then my dad, I happened to be at my parents' apartment when my that came home. He said, did you call in a script? He said, we got a renewal script for Xanax. I go, yeah. I said, I called it in. So he goes, oh, but I didn't ask him if you guys authorized it or not. So I'll just deal with Erica and let Erica call it in. And I, when she gets to the office, I think she gets there around 11 or so. So just text me. I'll take care of it. Okay. But I did, yeah. I did call it in and I did leave it. The other thing is I'm heading up to, you know, that office right by Sully's, that Rob Stanton's office. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have some stuff for you. Do you want me to bring it and you're coming there today or no? Um, I have to go. What time are you going to be there? I'm going to be there probably from 10 to to 6 or 10 to 7. I'm just running late, so I need to, I need to know if I should bring it with me or not. And where are you going to be tomorrow? Because the only thing is, like, I've, there's, like, um... I'm, I have to go buy the interest job because this is what is real here. So I need somebody part time. 
So I wanted to check out what exactly he needs. So that okay. I could do something for him. That's a great idea. I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be in Tamarack on Tuesday. Not at my office, but Oh, that's yeah. far. Um, okay. Let me try to go by today then. And then Thursday I'm in Deerfield Beach and then Friday I'm in Wellington, I believe. Yeah, I know. You're always part of Thursday and Friday. Um, yeah, bring it. I'll go by. I'll probably be around there like like around three ish. Since I told her I'll come by like at once, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. Yeah, it's just it's just paperwork for you to sign, like always. Okay. All right. I'll I'll see you, kiddo. Text text me on your way, but I'll I'm typing it right now. I will. Okay. All right, you got it. Hey, can you hear me? Katie, can you hear me? Yeah, I can, can, you hear, I can hear you. Can, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, listen. Take commercial like you're going to Sully's. Uh huh. Go to go to Federal. You're gonna make a left on Federal, so you're gonna be heading north. And it's like okay. less than half a mile on your right hand side. It's a freestanding building. It says Stand Smiles on the side. Okay, that's where it's I got white. confused the last time. What's that? I, that's where I got confused the last time. I thought it was just like going straight, like I didn't make a left on that on Federal. Yeah, just make a left on Federal, then it's right there on your right. Okay. So I'll be there. I'll be back there at two. Um, okay. I'll be at Sully's till then, but I got everything with me in case you just stop by Sully's. Okay. Well, I won't make it because I have to head to my friends right now. So, okay. Yeah. Do you, gotta, you can hear, hear your phone. Now? Uh, it's still shitty. You need to fix whatever's wrong with your phone. I did. I went to fucking Sprint and they took my phone for an hour. All right. Let me hear. It's it's better now. Yeah. Suppose no. Before like nobody can even understand me. Like you couldn't hear me. Something's wrong with my speaker. Apparently. It's because you you have such a thick Spanish accent. I can't fucking understand you. Uh, oh my god! I hate you so much right now. It's a part of Sucio C. Oh, you know one of you remember that? I kind of knew Sucio C. Hey, shut up! Listen, you remember that guy that I was talking to you about that he was like a bodyguard to like um, Justin Bieber and all these like famous people and shit? Yeah. So he, like, texted me, like, he messaged me from, um, he's like, oh, like, I'm heading to Manila, Philippines. Like, obviously, I don't act like I know that he bodyguards for famous people, you know? I'm like, oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I have to do security. So I'm, like, nosy, and I'm like, oh, you're doing security for whom? Like, the president? T.I.? Huh? T.I.? No, I wish. Oh, my God, if he said that, I would have been like, oh! Send me like Snapchats of him, please. I would have died. It was somebody else. Um, I don't know if he said ludicrous or somebody. Some black fucking guy. Some black rapper. And I was like, cool. And he's like sending me like videos. And he's like, oh my god, like I love your country. Like everybody's so nice. And I'm like, yeah, I know. If you go, you're not gonna want to come back. I'm gonna go soon. Probably not. Not this year. Next year. Listen, I don't. Two things. You have one of two choices. Either if it were me, I would take your mom, and I would take the whole fucking family, and I'd go for two months of summer. I know. See, my mom can hardly walk. She still in a lot of pain. She hasn't started to work yet. Oh, she, she hasn't. Yeah, man, it's like bad. Like even like, when I went out with my mom on Saturday. Like, she'd have to sit down. Like, it'll hurt her. And she even had to get shots again. Like, the epidural shots. Is she living with you or your brother? With my brother. And I told her if she's going to go back to work, like, she's supposedly supposed to go back to work in April. My issue was supposed to go back to work, like, almost a month ago. Right. The doctor said, like, she's still not, like, you know, she's not even 80%, like, to not rush. So, yeah, don't don't rush back to work, but I can tell you this. Your mom working will keep her young longer because it'll keep course. her active. 
you know, when, know, pe- when people want- don't work, she, she gets, she's going to get old. I know, that's what she wants. No, but, like, she fucking, she has so much shit to do. Like, she's basically taking care of my niece and nephew, like, with all of their, like, they got to go to piano lessons, taekwondo, and then dance lessons, and they have all this shit, and my mom's the one who's been picking him up from school. Okay, so we should stay busy with that. Yeah, of course. She does not want to be at home. Like, she hates it. Like, she goes right. to the mall, like, early in the morning, and then she goes around and, like, does her laps, like, to walk around and be mobile. Well, that's great. Then at 12, she goes to go pick up the kids, and then she has to go drop them off. I'm like, yo! I'm like, I told my mom, I'm like, what the hell, man? Dollars a month to live in that country? You are rich as oh, fuck, God, and, you're, you're, and you're not working. Yeah, I know. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I know. I'm just telling you, like, on 5G a month in that country, you're you're rich as fuck, and you're not worrying about money, and you're not working. What you're worried about is who's massaging your feet on what beach today. That's yeah. that's seriously where you're at. That's that's yeah, why it's easy if it was just me and him. It's different yeah. when you no, no. It's, it's with with the kids, it complicates the fucking different. everything. Exactly. I know. Like, yeah, you know, it's not that easy to go back into the same school if like something happens. Like you have to be within the borders of the district. No, no, I, I know, but at least try to figure like, out a way to easy. at least try to find a way to like rig it so like someone rents your place and you could disappear for two months in the summer. Hey, let me. I I gotta go though. Let me. I'll see. Text me when you're headed over. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. That was just okay. calling back. I'm gonna go meet him on Wednesday night. Um, Great. But everything's good. I'm about to jump in the pool. Um, then we go down to the Gables, meet up with Adam, and then. Uh, and then I'll come out and see you guys. Okay, perfect. Well, so what, what I have the boys. I'm, what? I'm, at, I'm at the place. I'm at the icon. I'll have the boys till about, you know, 7, whenever Wendy comes to pick them up. So, you know, I'll have the boys here. And um, so if you come, if you want to, if you want to go to dinner, if you, you know, just give me a heads up so I have some idea of the time or, or what you want to do. Okay? Okay, that's cool. I'm going to... Um... What do you call? I'm probably going to go down to Adam first. That way I'll be there. Yeah. The boys are there and, and everything. So I know I'm waiting for him to respond because he's got a meeting at 12. So I'm going to head down there a little after. Uh-huh. And then, um, what do you call it? And then I'll come to you guys and then we'll figure it out. Okay. If I miss if I miss a call for any reason or I don't have the phone nearby, just leave me a message. So as I see it, I'll call you back. No. But anyway, that's, I'm really happy that you and Dad are exercising all the time now. It's really, it's really good. You know, I'm proud of us for doing it. It's not always the most fun to do, but yeah, but you know, you feel you know, better, like when you're. Yeah, when it's done, I do. I know. You're, you feel better, better. And, and then the thing is, when you're not working out, when you're just like moving around, and you're doing stuff, and you're going places, don't you feel healthier? Yes, I have more energy. I definitely have more stamina. Then, like you know, and then you know what happens? I'm going to tell you something. You're going to see a huge difference. You and Dad living down in South Beach a few years, working out, like, living like that, not being around, like, a bunch of old people complaining about their problems. And then you're going to see your friends that have, like, gotten, like, friends just to, you know, to have someone. Look, you like to be with people your own age. Everyone does. No, no I like so. people younger than me. <laughs> Just, you know, everybody, you have something in common with someone your age. I, you know, not only do I not, I mean, I even try with the girls at, um, you know, at pickup at the school because most right. of the girls don't work. Overrun with stuff to the point that my house was empty compared to it. I mean, she's got a garage you can't walk in. It's she has packed. more, sh- she's a hoarder. Crap, she's a hoarder. And that's what Peter said. He says, you know, Every time I say to Barbara, look, we can get a big apartment. We can get a three-bedroom apartment. And she says, I'm not, I'm not moving my stuff. I'm not going through with it. Let my kids do it when I'm dead. I said, you know, Barbara, I have to tell you, as hard as it was to do it, it's a lifetime. Well, yeah, the, 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 stuff is, the stuff is so much nicer now. I know. It's just, you know, it's, you look at things and it's, they're hard to give away. So I made up a, a trolley box and a, and a Wendy box and a Robert box. And one day you set a box with your name on it with things that I thought might be important to you. And 
that's it. You take a whole camera. And Sam said, you know, we're probably getting close to the time we'll give up the Dallas apartment because it won't be after maybe another year that people who bought his business won't really need him there. She says, so we're going to go up to the Berkshires this summer and see, you know, about buying a place up there, see if we like that. They want a second. She said, I don't want to be here in picture where it's like if you were like if you lived in an area where there was a bunch of like people your own age they'd be gone for half the time anyway oh for sure but so half the you, time you'd have people to talk to you know percent of the time and then the other yeah. thing i remember said saying to you guys was hey when was the last time you and dad had a date night and went out to lincoln road and went and did this and you're like oh i haven't done that in four months naked and jumps in the pool she says that's exactly what he did she says, every time we go there it's like it's like a magnet as soon as we get there she says he takes his clothes off and jumps in naked and he's happy as a clown so um, it is well you've been over to days right yeah it's a you know it's a super casual house um, which is tricky with little boys so yeah, what do you do? let me ask you where else do you see somebody and, uh, so I told him uh, I, I knew it was going to go up so I'm like just put ten thousand dollars in it and uh, anyway, long, long story short. Yeah. So you know, if it, and so if it like doubles, he'll make like eight ten. He'll make like eight ten thousand off it, right? Yeah. I, I should tell don't don't do it. Well, the, and, this is this is part of the problem. Yeah. That, well, when I just found out this past week to go ahead, that Adam's like, yeah, you can tell your friends to buy some stuff. He sees every like all the orders that go through. Adam right. sees who's buying it. Uh, because it's so thinly traded. It's not like yeah. Coca-Cola where God knows how many people are buying it. You're right, Because right. you have to realize for the stock to trade $30,000, that's like over a million shares. Yeah. So he'll see it, and he'd ask me, he said, don't, you know, he said, if you have enough, he said, don't start telling, like, your family to buy it. And like, I go, no, if you ask me not to, I won't. Right. And there's been other things he's asked me not to buy, and I've known about. I've just, I haven't bought it myself. I haven't bought it yeah. Anyway, right. I thought I ha- I thought I had to buy it through Alpine Securities also. Yeah, you know, I have an account through Alpine. I just yeah. found out this past week I didn't have to buy it through Alpine Securities. Oh, you can buy it on your like you can call Schwab and buy it. It's just yeah. depositing these certificates that I'm getting have to be done through Alpine. Oh, so you could buy it and not yeah, some of that fee. Yeah, yeah. So if it goes pay. down below two uh, two cents, I'll tell you guys to buy it. I think it'll pump down again, and I would I would just buy like ten or twenty thousand. No, I would only do it if you said done it. You know, mom yeah. Told it, otherwise, I would never. You know that. So, and you gotta understand too, like you guys. It, one thing about giving financial advice is that if it doesn't work out, I can lose money and not feel bad. Right. If I tell you to do something, and it and you lose money, I feel horrible, and right. it's not my money. Right, just so it's like your family, so of course. Yeah, so it's like then you feel worse. You're the one that told them to do it. So I would rather take my money and lose it than tell you to go do something because it's a lose-lose situation for me. You make. He said, so you're giving them like a three or four month heads up. Right. That it's, that's how it, that, that's how it's going to be. Yeah. So, All right, sweetie. Let me go upstairs. I got a lot to do before I pick up the kids. So uh, I gotta move. Wait, there was one other thing I was going to tell you. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, this is a weird story. It goes up, you know, from, we got it at like one, at point zero one eight. So I'm like, yeah. look, if it, whatever. So if you, I said, if it goes up to like three, you'll make like eight, ten thousand dollars on your, uh, for three cents, you'll make like eight or ten thousand. So he was talking about it, and he, he's like, he's like, huh, if it goes up to three, he's like, I'll make like eight, ten thousand dollars. He's like, I'll buy you, I'll buy you another purse. I'll buy another Birkin bag. How does that sound? She goes, I can, I can buy my own. I don't need you to do that. Ooh. I'm like, what a fucking thing. nice bitch. Nice. That's how she is. Like, not fighting. Like, can you imagine your husband being like, so my friend gained the one who paid for her practice. Yeah. He he took out the loan. He's the one who signed all the notes. He's the one who paid for it. He built her practice. He paid he paid off her student loans while she was working and was pregnant or taking time off. Like how about just a simple like, Oh, thanks on, you're the best. Yeah, I can yeah. buy it myself if I want it. I can I can buy whatever I want myself. I-